In this video, I'll be going over my Zorix Salazzle list that I used to get top eight at the tournament, my run at the tournament, and possible changes to the deck. So here we go. Hey, 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 this is Seagrove, and if you're new here and you're interested in finding growth and success in the Pokemon TCG, consider subscribing. But let's go ahead and get right into this video. So first thing I wanted to do was show you guys the uh, list that I used um, for my League Cup. This is it. Uh, 4, 4, Zorark. 4, 3, 1, Salazzle. 2 Lele, um, 1 Max Potion, and then 3 Nest Ball, 4 Great Ball, and you should definitely be playing f the other way around, but I only had 3 League Promo Nest Balls, <laughs> so I switched it out. That's awful. Um, one, super, or 1 Rescue Stretcher, 4 Super Scoop Ups, um, that's going to let me reset my Salazzle, which is the Hot Poison to add uh, Poison and Burn, basically add 30 damage to an attack. Um, four Ultra Ball, three Stadium, one Isarola, three Cynthia, three Guzma, a Lily, a Mallow, two Kukui, and three Choice Band, four DCE, and four Fire. And that is the exact list that I used. Um, so round one, I played, I went to a League Cup, there were I think 45 Masters. Um, round one, I played against um, Zorak Lycanroc, which is the deck I was fearing most. Um, but I managed to get the dub there. He didn't have a great turn one, and um, so I was sort of able to... like He didn't draw bad after turn one, but he had a bad turn one. So I kind of just stayed on top and um, kept taking knockouts. And then it came down, like, we each had two prizes left. And I, like, had a couple options in my hand. I could have kookweed and just hoped to find the choice band. Um, but I decided instead to ace a roll on my damage Zorark. And that left no two prizes on the board. So the next turn he had to take a one prize knockout. And I put a fire energy on um, my Salandit. But he didn't have a Guzma. So then we took a one prize knockout. I just pulled up Salandit. Attached a second fire, evolved, and then did 230 with a choice band to his rock, uh, Lycan Rock. So that's how I won that game. Um, in round two, I played against Zork McCargo, and he never, he actually did draw bad. Like, he never had more than three Pokemon on the bench at a time. So, yeah. Round four, I played against. Um, Vika Ray, but I went first and I sort of like just he didn't get up a Vika Volt. He didn't draw well either. To be honest, none of my first three opponents really drew that well. <laughs> uh, and then I played another Zark my cargo and the tables were turned. I had to Kukui twice as a draw supporter, um, not even to do more damage. And just like drew really bad drew pretty bad yeah um and then since i had to use my kukwis as draw supporters i couldn't use them to get one shots and use healing and i just like i didn't have a full bench most of the game it was bad very similar uh to the re opposite of the zork mid cargo matchup earlier round that was four round five i played against um gas can Rukan's deck, and um, I started off with a Guzma to knock out an Inke, and then he had trouble establishing Malamars, and I won um, just because he couldn't get like a third energy. I don't think it mattered. Um, like he had to, I almost Guzma knocked out his Dawn Wings. But then I was like, wait, if I Guzman knock out his Dawn Wings, he can knock me out with a uh, Marshadow GX copying the Dawn Wings GX, or Marshadow ability copying the Dawn Wings GX attack, and then I would have lost. So I just decided not to knock it out. I just took a one prize knockout, and then 
Um, he had to use right as a beating with his Marsh Shadow, and then I won. Um, resisting Psychic was like really useful. It was, it was didn't feel like too tough of a matchup, honestly. Um, then round like playing all these scoop ups and heal Acerola and Max Potion felt fine. Um, the next round I I did. And then I had really good resistance. And then the next round, I played Zorak Lycanroc again, which is, again, like a really bad matchup. Um, and I've been thinking about ways to change that. We'll get there in a second. Uh, and I just drew bad both games. Um, turn one, I had to Kukui. Uh, I started Lele and then had to Kukui. Game two, um, he drew like crazy good he's like i'm gonna s-. he had i think like those two azarua and a rock rough then he cynthia and ended up with like two more zarua or two more rock rough and another zarua um so he had like a full bench and he used had one spot left and he used it for a lele it was like it was he drew real super well and i did not draw it great again which is very sad um so i ended up just losing that Looking back, I think the deck isn't quite there yet. Um, like, I think I need to add in a Mag Cargo. So I was thinking about how I could switch it. I definitely want to do this. And I got my fourth uh, League Promo <laughs> Nest Ball. Um, Devoured Field, super good. Um, I think it's not, ne- not that it's not necessary. But if I'm playing Mag Car- like. No one was bumping my stadium, um, or very rarely was it bumped. So I think, I think I can go down to two if I can add in Mag Cargo. And then um, I think I can drop a Mallow. I hardly used it. I think I used it one time. Um, but if I can get a Mag Cargo up, I'm not even going to need it. Other than that, I might drop a great... Uh, the thing about great ball... I want to put in a timer instead, but Great Ball allows you turn one and two to get your basics out, which is just so important. Um, I could drop a choice band, but I think I think it's important. And like stadiums stay down, so I don't know. I could maybe drop a choice band. Like if I'm trying to get to like a two-two man cargo. Um. I don't know. I could drop a fire. I think I could drop a fire pretty easily. Like, it's always something I'm trading away. And then I could drop... Actually, I'll probably just do that. And then I'm going to add in... Um, Slugma, that's what it's called. I'm going to add in a Slugma. And a mag cargo. And then I'm going to add in a single um, enhanced hammer. Because um, I think that would help a lot in the Zork Lycanroc matchup. Like, in general, I don't care too much. Like, uh, I think it could also help in the Zork. Mag Cargo matchup, which I wasn't expecting to see, especially not twice, but, um, because they, oops, I got rid of that, because they, uh, if I make them find another DCE, then they're going to find one less energy removal themselves, um, but the reason I originally didn't want, uh, energy removal is because I was like, I'm just knocking everything out anyways, but if Zork, uh, can... Like multi switch and stuff like that, get taking off a DCE is actually pretty important if you're not able to take the knockout. So that's why I'm gonna add in the one enhanced and then the one one meg cargo, and I'll just test. I'll be testing that. I mean, this one I won't be testing. <laughs> I've been super busy, which is kind of why I ended up playing this. Uh, something I know, something I like. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching and peace out. Shout out to my Ultra Ball patrons, Sarah Beckwith, John Gilliman, Paul Semenko, and Brian C. And huge shout out to my Master Ball patrons, 
uh, Pokestats, Impulse Gaming, Jeremy Owings, Caleb Vance, and Dan Nelson. And congrats Dan Nelson again for winning the last drawing. Shout out to all of my patrons and of course to my viewers and subscribers like yourself. Thank you.